You follow old Rafiki, he knows the way. Come on! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the not-so-long-awaited new episode of Let's Play the Lion King. Still don't know why I call these episodes. Anyway, look, we're adult Simba. It's awesome. And now the X and Y buttons have come into play. Y gives you a little basic angry slash. You can duck and do it, and you can jump and do it. And X does this cool little leap rear up slash. And listen, got a manly roar. Got a manly roar. And, uh, anyway, sorry for not recording for a few days. Um, kinda got sick. And then work curb stomped me. So, yeah. But, let's not go into my personal life. Let's kill monkeys instead. Because, we know, monkeys suck. As this game has taught us. And instead of hitting the monkeys, we can also do... that, because they pass out from the power of our sheer awesome. Woohoo! I love adult Simba. And now we come to the first of two or three, or possibly four, of what I like to call leopard gates, where you just keep kicking the shit out of these things until they go away. And then Rafiki shows you the way. Blah blah blah. I'm too tired for a Jamaican accent. Monkey monkey. Bug. Things. Cut down the boulder were to touch that boulder at any point during it rolling, whether you were in front of it or behind it, insta death. And another monkey symbol roar. And I wish I got two for one. Aw. Still no two for one. Before we cut this down, give it a little continue. Is there anything over here? I missed recording and look for a little checkpoint as Simba's mane now, a little fuzzy mane. Back in the movie. Mm. Damn it, monkey. And that bug did nothing. Oh, wait, here's another Simba move. I forgot to mention you can jump on your enemies. Simba would do it correctly. Quit bugging the frick out. Another leopard gate. I don't know why I feel the need to friggin' duck and hit them. I always felt it gave me a little more, uh, a little less of a chance of getting hit. There's Rafiki and Indiana Jones time. Just keep running, just keep running, 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 running. Fucky Boulder. Got you won't kill me. Not today. Not in the mood. Woohoo! Okay, there's another boulder. That was close. Spiky pits of death. Did I miss any bugs? I might have. Might have missed a bug. No, I didn't. I'm just dumb. But I killed a monkey. That's pretty cool. Ah. Uh, this music makes me happy. This whole game makes me happy. Except for a level coming up, which you'll see very soon. I think we're just about at the end, surprisingly. Wow. Oh. Die! Die, you son of a bitch. Alright. I love roaring at monkeys. And them not throwing me. And that is our final roar extension for the game. What sucks is we're not getting our final life extension until the second to last level, I think. I think there's one more leopard gate ahead of us. I don't even know what that is. Is that a, like a rock and a vine? It looks. It always reminded me of a cornucopia when I was younger. Can you see it? It's like a, a, a tree root. And then a rock. Actually, I, I never really paid much attention to that. Anyway, onward to the final leopard gate. 
Let's just stand here and kill her. Be cheap and just spam this. Instead of fancy flipping over. Whatever. I'd show off Simba's flip move, but it's real finicky because I suck at pressing the buttons and Rafiki shows us the way again. And well, you'll you'll see it later on anyway. Duh. I think we're just about at the end here. Let's see. Yep. You must take your place in the circle of life. Ah, uh, Mufasa. Anyway, um, that went by well. That level's relatively easy. It's pretty much the Pride Lands for Adult Simba, but you know, with less porcupine stabbings and explosions. So anyway, sorry for the late update. I'll probably be posting more frequently now that... Well, I don't know. I don't know why I'll be posting more frequently. Maybe because life will just ease up a little bit. Anyway, I'm Feral Elegram, and I'll see you guys next time. Later! No! Please! Don't leave me! Bother! Don't leave me!